Welcome back to Ravenfield. We've got some eerie reports. If you remember in the last episode, we saw a UFO where it was not supposed to be. Whoa! Guys, a UFO is here? Why is the UFO here? Maybe that's why the mercenaries are here? Is to take command of the island to research this alien technology? My Strange things are happening in Ravenfield again. And I've got reports of the dead coming to life. Survive? Oh my god. It all started when we were on the temple on a routine special forces run, but once we were placed, intelligence called us in and let us know that there was something else going on. Now, look at this. These guys aren't carrying weapons, and if you look very closely, you can see that they have green skin, and they just kind of bum rush you and swing their hands. Their, their clothes are torn, the green skin and the whole, like, the fact that they're trying to bite you. Look at their faces! Like, look at these guys' faces. If I didn't know any better, I'd say they were zombies. Okay? Intelligence confirms these are, in fact, Zed heads. I think that what we have to do, guys, is we're gonna have to cancel this mission, destroying the ammo crates, because we've got a bigger problem. We're deep in the Himalayan mountains. This is definitely the area where Indiana Jones went and ate snake surprise. You know what I'm talking about? The Temple of Doom? That's what this is right now. And the zombies are coming. We're gonna have to defend this temple against wave of zombies until we can get reinforcements or extraction of some sort but i'd really like to thank 101 xp for sponsoring today's video and giving me the opportunity to try out their new game for the people is as much a visual novel as it is a political management simulator it's set in an alternate history world that's been plagued by totalitarianism and you get to play the role of francis river a young and newly appointed mayor of the iron one city and you're tasked with restoring public order and imposing the iron will of the party. And essentially the game's plot is driven by the choices that you make on a daily basis. And while interacting with these characters, any one of them can either become a very reliable ally or they can grow to become your worst enemy. Not only are you gonna have to be the mayor, but you're also gonna be acting as a detective alongside the head of the local political department and your best friend. The town itself is defined by the characters that you interact with. And it falls to you to make the difficult political decisions and maneuver between the interests of your colleagues and friends and the ordinary citizens of Iron One. And there's really no good or bad choices. Every decision that you make does have consequences. So you get to decide how you're going to approach every situation, write your own story, and watch your actions either make or break the city that you're mayor of. So click the link in the description below to check out more on For the People and add it to your wish list on Steam. The game's going to be 15% off on Steam sale at launch. So thank you once again, 101 XP, for sponsoring this video. Well, we did manage to get a few more reinforcements here, but all said and done, the zombies have been... Putter? What is your malfunction? Ahem. As I was saying, the zombies started swarming from the mountains. Goodness gracious! They're here already! Oh my god, they're, they're bum-rushing the temple. I don't know how long we're gonna be able to hold this, because... I'm gonna, I'm gonna run out of bullets or my teammates are gonna kill me. Oh my God, the zombies are jumping after me. Save me. Everybody protect me and don't blow me up. Jeez, man. These gotta be some of the worst teammates I've ever seen at times. Oh my God, do you hear that? They're chomping us to pieces. Uh, okay. Everybody's dying. I've gotta make my way out of here. I need extraction, man. Oh my goodness. Is there, there's gotta be a helicopter here somewhere, right? Isn't there? Isn't there a helicopter? I gotta get a vehicle at least. I think my guys are in there. I'm not sure. I mean, I hear gunshots. Whoa. This guy's dodging bullets. But this is not good, man. The zombie mutation. Oh, no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Back up. Yeah, I... I this is kind of how it happens. The zombies start swarming. I feel like... Should I go in there and try to rescue my friends? Oh, my God. This is bad. I'm in a bad spot. Getting pincer moved. Whoa! No! Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. No, 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 get up, get up, get up! These aren't the- These aren't the, like, walker-style zombies that are really easy to deal with. Eat a bullet! Alright, the gunfire stopped. I can only assume everybody I know is now dead. And I need to find some kind of a vehicle and get extraction. Someone is still alive. Henry, is that you? Oh god, this is terrible. Okay, there is somebody alive over here. Oh no, he's gonna get eaten! And then it's just me. 
Oh my god, I'm gonna need bullets here soon, aren't I? I've just gotta spray and shoot them out of my way. Oh my god, <laughs> the zombie mod is incredible. Like, I'm- I feel terrified right now. All right, am I even going in the right spot? Okay, the mud skipper is over here, and I think that's gonna be my only chance at getting out of here alive. I mean, I've got 29 bullets for my secondary and 38 for my primary here. The zombies are coming. Oh my god. Are they attacking each other? It takes too many bullets to kill them. You gotta hit him in the head. Oh my god, they're guarding the mud skipper. Uh, I've gotta reload the shell here. Oh god, I- you can hear them! You can hear them! Oh, that didn't do too well, did it? Uh-oh, I'm out of bullets. All right, boys. Uh, I don't know why it's painted red, but I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna seek a helicopter extraction, and then if possible, I'm going to the aircraft carrier. We've gotta get to the headquarters, which is on the aircraft carrier at the moment. And you know, I wonder if this is widespread. I wonder if the island itself has been infected, but I've lost everybody on my team and I've gotta get out of here. Oh gosh. It looks like I will have to run down here, but this is the glacial river. This should lead to the ocean. Well, you'll notice that Eagle Company here has given us some new toys. This is a Sea King. It's a Sikorsky giant helicopter. On one side, it's got a minigun, and on the back, you can see it's got a 50 caliber machine gun. Even more so, check this thing out. Look at this puppy. This is kind of like the new zombie defense weapon, a prototype that we're testing out. So as these Sikorskis take off, I've got to ascertain the position of the zombies because the reports are that the entire archipelago has succumbed to the zombie epidemic. So what I'm going to do is load up this thing full of infantrymen and hopefully not send them to their deaths, but we need to take back the archipelago from the zombies. The issue is we've got a pretty decent sized force, but the zombies are significantly more. And also there's permadeath on here. So if we die, well, you're dead for good. Attack the harbor, everybody out. Uh -huh. Look at that, the zombies are just running at the village like they don't even care. Oh my God. I was gonna try to lay down right here and get the soldiers out, but look at this. They have just swarmed over this position. Let's go ahead and do an aerial reconnaissance over the airfield here. It looks like they do have some form of like understanding of maybe their previous lives because they seem to be flocking around the helicopters, the aircraft. Maybe they're trying to use it? <laughs> you idiots. Zombies aren't the smartest of creatures after all. Uh-oh. One of our gunships has just laid down right here and they're using, look at that, they're using the side mounted gun there to try to mow down the zombies and they are doing a fantastic job. At it. I'm gonna put her down right here and we're gonna try to hold this position. The zombies seem to be overrunning it and I love the rear gunner right there. He's just smashing them. We gotta be careful here about in our landing. All right, everybody out. Well, I got good news and bad news. The good news is, is we've landed here and we got the minigun firing. And even the co-pilots firing out of the window there, but the bad news is my guys are too afraid to get out of the Sikorsky. And they don't want to fight. And even more bad news, the zombies are coming. All right, let's switch this to the fragmentation rounds. Okay, we got to aim up a little bit. There we go. This is a pretty good zombie thumper. Come on, guys. I need your help here. Although that minigun coverage is fantastic. But eventually I will run out of bullets. And the ratio of zombies to infantry is like, it's significantly more zombies. Well, we did manage to take and hold this position, so I'm gonna re-commandeer the helicopter and move us because I need that heavy gun power. All right, so we managed to hold that and look at that. That's all the zombies there, but another wave is coming down the hillside. Oh man, if, if Ravenfield, like this is an incredible mod by Atherline 5. It's a mutator. One of the new things that Steel Raven put into Ravenfield, but if there could be a right and proper zombie survival mod, now that we have this very impressive and it shows you what Ravenfield can do in the special forces mode? I can't help but wonder. All right, I wish we, I, I should have given my gunner a little bit more jurisdiction to fire that minigun right there, because look at that thing, that thing is nice. And if it ever did get multiplayer, my gosh, that would be awesome. All right, do you think we could retake the airfield? Because I've got both helicopters here. If I, if I land on one side of it, 
It's possible. All right. And I'm going to exit. You guys aren't going to exit yet, are you? Soldier, get out. Oh, God. Never mind. Stay there and hold the 50. Look at this. Oh, this aircraft is perfect for zombies mode. And this gun is pretty good, too. So the zombies are coming. I'm going to I'm gonna use my, my bullets here. And then there's a bunch that are near this helicopter. I'm going to switch over to grenade rounds. Guys, give me cover and fire. Maybe, maybe a little bit better. Maybe a little bit better on the covering fire, Bob. Jeez. All right, back to grenade rounds. So you may be thinking, wow, the zombies are cool and all, but I want them to be scarier. So then all we have to do in order to make that happen is check this out. We'll quit back to the menu and you can see what I did. Maybe we want the zombies to be a little bit more in number. And then we also want them to be a little bit more dangerous. So what we do here is we can up the zombie health to like any number we want, 500, but I'm gonna keep it at 200 right now, which explains why some of the zombies were surviving what it seemed like headshots at medium distance. And then we can change their movement speed. Now, the maximum speed is three. Uh, I'm kind of terrified to see what that's like, but we're gonna do it anyway. And we're gonna go on to Dust Bowl. Now it seems only proper that we're defending a fortress against zombies. I'm gonna use the XM29. I like the Automatico as my secondary. I didn't really have to use it just yet. And I think instead of flying in the aircraft, we got tanks here, so this should be pretty interesting to use. Like, there are 200 bots. There's the Sikorsky, and there's another one. All right, guys, send in the cavalry because you know the zombies are coming. Oh, wait, hold on. So the zombies are... Oh, my God, look at how much faster they are. Like, that's a great... Oh, God, this is actually gonna be pretty terrifying, isn't it? Oh, my God, they're already here. May what, I guess what you could do, and there's apparently an Easter egg, but I, I'm not sure. Oh my God, these guys move too fast. All right, nothing to see here. Oh my God. Oh! <laughs> okay, yeah, they're definitely gonna get me when I need to reload. Zombies are coming, boys. So it, you, you can imagine how the zombie mutator paired with other mutator mods could make for some absolutely insane games of Ravenfield. Oh, oh, okay. I heard them being all creepy and weird over there. God, they're, they move so fast I can barely shoot them. I mean, I can shoot them. Oh my God, what happened to his neck? Oh, he's still alive. <laughs> Get out of here. I need, I need armor or something. Frags out, boys. Oh my God. Okay, I don't know where everybody went, but they're not here. And there is an absolute zombie swarm coming. Oh no. Luckily these grenade rounds are, are helping me out a lot, but I'm gonna run out of them in a moment. I need, oh God, I need extraction. I need extraction. Oh my God, everybody's dead. It's on permadeath, isn't it? Luckily they're attacking each other in their stupidity. Now I need the helicopter to spawn. Okay, guys, 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 help me. Oh my God, your timing was perfect. Hold the line, hold the line. Oh, I need the crosshairs mutator on. Ah, oh, they're eating me. Look at that. And when it says killed by zombie, it's absolutely brutal. Okay. So my question is then, it said try messing around with the zombie speed. So if the max is four is three, can I do 420? And then do we want the zombie health to be even more? I think maybe 120 seems about right. I don't know what ignore field of view means. Oh, that probably means like, They'll come at you even if they can't see you is what I'm guessing. And we're gonna go back to the original Ravenfield map, Island. And we're gonna defend the fort against the zombies. Now the battle plan is simple. Just defend, guys. Please listen to me and just defend. We'll see if they do. Because this is a pretty impressive fort, right? I mean, we've got we've got natural barriers. I think this wall over here is where I'm gonna wanna be. Oh man, you can you can hear everybody opening up already. Guys, the, the idea was to defend. Oh my God, the zombies are pouring through. Oh my God, they're just... This is bad. They're bum rushing through here now too. All of our men are dying. I, I can barely hit them. They're moving so fast. They're at 420 blazing speed. Even though it says the max. Wow. That was like the quickest defeat I've ever had. Oh my God. Bob, run. Look at Bob running. Run, Bob. Run. Oh man, this is bad. 
<laughs> I love this zombie mode. This is incredible. Now we just need like a mo like a modded map that fits it perfectly, like, and maybe even the settings already. So all you have to do is put the map on. Oh my god, look at look at how fast they are. I mean, I can I can try to hold them as long as possible, but like, look at this. They're swarming. Oh my god, they're here. This is bad. I I feel like I'm one of the. Uh oh, I need to switch. Oh, oh no. Oh, you know I'm dead now. You know I'm dead. Stay away from me! Oh, get to the helicopter! Oh my god. I don't think this is gonna work. Oh! <laughs> I don't wanna die! I'm gonna get on the boat. I'm getting on the boat. I'm getting on the boat. Oh god, please, please leave me alone. I gotta get out of here. Yes, yeah, see you later. Oh my god. Is that the Easter egg or did we just break the game? I think we just broke the game. We escaped from Zombie Island. The fortress has fallen. I am the last non-zombie in Ravenfield. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching another episode of Ravenfield. Let me know if you'd like to see more. I want to say a big thank you to four of the people for sponsoring this video. Make sure to go check out the game. Link is in the video description. It helps support the channel as well. And I'll see you guys in the next video.